Hey, welcome to another episode. What we're doing here is we're going to talk about, and this is off script, there's no script for this. We're going to talk about my game, what I'm playing, what I'm doing, and how these bases are working, and everything. The first thing you ought to know is you can have something like 400 bases in the game. And you have a certain number of base parts per base and total base parts. So, you know, um, I don't want to use, I, I want to watch how many base parts I'm using. First to leave my options open, but there's another thing about my bases too. If you look, a lot of these early bases are in Euclid. Um, my plans are to spread useful bases throughout the galaxies. I'm in 12 Aptar Kaaba right now. And eventually, these bases, the early ones, will get deleted. Each of these bases in each of the galaxies is going to be useful. Either, either I'm going to be getting like cadmium or maybe I'm going to be getting oxygen or nitrogen or maybe the base is going to be a farming base to farm a particular item like maybe Gecknip. Um, nip nip buds, you know, um, or maybe it's going to be, um, let me show you actually. Bases can focus on growing, for example, a particular plant, either a profitable plant or a combination of plants. Now, why would I want to grow a combination of plants? For example, liquid explosive are worth like 800,000 each. But I need acid and unstable gel to make them. So acid is mordite and fungal mold. Unstable gel is cactus flesh. So on a, I might want to grow cactus flesh and fungal mold and maybe even um, the plant that gives you mordite. But I have a mordite mine, so um, I get it that way. Another base could be for living glass. So, for example, um, for that you need lubricant and glass. Glass is made from frost crystal, and lubricant's made from facium and gamma root. So you may grow facium, gamma root, and frost crystal on a given base. So you don't have to keep on base hopping um, if you want to make living glass. So in a game, you may want to have every type of base. You may want to have one for liquid explosives, one for living glass. Maybe you want one to make circuit boards. Um, so, you know, you could have quite a few bases that have a goal of either mining gold or silver or growing something or behind um, constructing something like liquid explosives. Another type of base, uh, bases could be for recipes not product recipes, but food recipes. A lot of the foods will make you a lot uh, of um, units. And you also saw that you can have some bases to make nanites. The question is, now you can have like 400 bases, but the question here is, can you, uh, for all 256 galaxies, 
Can you make a useful different base for each galaxy? So rather than sitting on paper, I'm just going to different galaxies, trying to make as many different um, types of bases as I could make. And these bases are long-term temporary. Let me, let me show you. Near the beginning of the game, this base is called, uh, I think I called it Ye Rusty Boat. Um, uh, no, the planet I called that. Um, this base was a temporary base. The purpose of this base was I was looking for a good uh, rusted metal spot at the beginning of the game. So um, this base is eventually going to get deleted. I just haven't done it yet. You see, this is called Temporary Rust Outpost. I have another one, which is my actual rusted metal base. I do that to get, re it was cold here, so I stuck a, a fireplace in here. And at the beginning of the game, you don't have many carbon resources. But later on, you'll use oxygen and refine it for carbon, most likely. And at the beginning, biofuel reactors are really cheap. But eventually, you're going to use solar panels and uh, the electromagnetic um, towers. So, like, eventually this base helped me to find... It helped me to find a spot to get rusted metal. Now, rusted metal refines to ferrite, so I needed it early in the game because you need ferrite. Now, this isn't fancy at all, and it's still running mostly on biofuel reactors. But this is a temporary base that's going to get deleted. Even though it's producing 11,000 rusted metal, and you'd think, you know, that's going to be like a long-term base, there's, I'm, this is just in Euclid. I'm spreading throughout the galaxies, making a base in each, and those bases are long-term temporary. Eventually, what I want to do is uh, improve on the bases and find better loca locations. Now, let me tell you something um, about base locations. Let's go back to the base we were just at. Here's an example of my most recent base. Notice several things. The first is it has three resources. This base is powered um, by a, an A-class electromagnetic power hotspot. The base has indium coming in that's powered by that, and it produces oxygen for a gas. So this location is a be much better location than one at the beginning of the game. These are located conveniently so that when I come to this base, I can just go and I can grab the indium. And without going anywhere, if there's any oxygen in here, I can grab the oxygen. Now, another couple of comments here. Notice this is now a glass cube because I can get silver. I have, I have a base that produces silver. This is, has glass because I produce frost crystal and the glasses are free to make. So I told you why I use this chamber. And now I'm putting a store up in probably every one from now on because you know I have enough oxygen I have enough indium enough other stuff and I can just sell it you know and before I move on to the next thing now this is gonna turn into um, and I'm gonna be working this is my project today today I'm going to be um, doing, where, where is it? Um, albumin pearl orbs. 
they grow every 80, 80, 80 minutes. So I can come to this base when I'm playing for a couple of hours and keep on grabbing the pearl orbs and selling them. You know, so there's a difference between how often you're going to visit bases and what they're, you know, what they're producing the amount of time. So, for example, in a base like this, if I'm going to be growing the pearl orbs here, I may want to put my indium, put several indium mines down so it'll produce the indium quicker and I'll be able to sell the indium also. Another thing because I have the gold, now I can make this door up here. Now, I, I had to tell somebody on YouTube that I have 1,500 hours because they thought I'm, I'm putting basic stuff on. But, but look, I, I have maybe, uh, um, I don't know, I don't even think I have 100 hours in this particular game. So that means I put 1,400 hours doing stuff in other games. But this one I started in the recent Omega Expedition. And I think I've made reasonable progress since that expedition. Now, this battery is another addition. It, it serves as a hub for all my other things. So I could look and see how much I'm using on the grid and see how much total I have available and how much storage. If I'm using solar panels, I'm gonna w wanna have some idea how much those solar panels are storing for me. I, use, I like to use the lights to relay the power. Um, they only cost like five sodium and they are easy to, you know, attach the wires to. So, I mean, if you have any questions, so yeah, so that's my, that's why I could play for hour after hour. I'm exploring, I'm looking for better bases. Oh, let me show, let me show you this, okay? This base is in Ojulatai, Galaxy 256. Now, uh, you know, I've done a little more work on it. For example, you know, I have the curious mold here and I found another curious mold spot and I'm thinking maybe I could put a teleporter between them because I notice things tend to reset if you're far enough away. So I might be able to relay teleporters to do the curious mold almost instantly. Another thing about this base, I happen to like it here, so I put the storage here. In another video, you saw me working on this storage and how I was, how these snap in with the cubes. But not every base, I don't want to use that many base parts or that much time. This base a little more long term because you can't get to Galaxy 256 pretty much unless, you know, you've got, you know, somebody in there. So, you know, I, I, and this is also Community Planet. So there's a lot of other people on here that I know from the Facebook Explorers group. And so I thought, you know, why not have, you know, a slightly nicer base? So I did a little bit more work on this one. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing other stuff here. So you could have bases that accomplish, you saw my Mordite recipe video. And uh, anyway, here's another one, if you forgot about the uh, one I had. Nafut Gamma should be familiar to you because this is from the Omega Expedition. So these storage units date back to actually the Omega Expedition. So, this is where I set up my Geknip farm.
in the Omega Expedition, I had wanted to save a lot of the stuff we got. And if you are able to decorate your base with it, you get to keep your base in the uh, expedition. So I, I left all this stuff here so I would have it from, um, you know, from the Omega Expedition. So, and you know, I started out with a bunch of, you know, batteries and, um, and biofuel reactors in the Omega Expedition. And if you look, I finished both the Atlas, the New Beginnings, and the Autophagy uh, quest. Obviously, I finished the Autophage quest. So, you know, there's, you know, different things I'm doing in different places. I don't even have um, the freighter yet, I don't think. Yeah. Um, I don't even have a freighter yet. I'm, I w I'm looking for a certain type and uh, I, I want the, you know, I want certain traits in it. So I haven't even started that yet. And in fact, I've got, let me show you this. I've got a settlement that I haven't messed with that I put on a paradise planet that there's a whole quest line involved with that that I haven't done yet. I mean, I haven't even done the quest yet where, um, whatchamacallit, Dreams of the Deep, which is a really early one. And I haven't finished some of the expanding the base stuff. I'm just so busy doing other stuff. This, um, this is one of the reasons I prefer steps, because you just go up the ladder when you walk by it. So, uh, you know, if you see one base of one type, it doesn't mean I don't have bases of other sorts that I'm doing. And just because I may have one type of fuel source doesn't mean, like here, what you don't see, I don't think you noticed, is it's run mostly by solar pow pow uh, power now. Once I got gold, it became easier for me to make solar panels. Because if you look, I have no hot spot nearby. This base was built before I was able to survey. So it became a Gecknip uh, location instead of some gas or mineral. Anyway, so I, that's that's what I'm doing. That's my game. This is why I could play for hundreds of hours and I'm enjoying myself. So thank you for watching.